Hi, welcome back. We have to prove 1 by 1 into 4 plus 1 by 4 into 7 plus 1 by 7 into 10 and the nth term is given by 1 by 3n minus 2 into 3n plus 1. The sum of these, all the terms is equal to n by 3n plus 1. Now what is the meaning of nth term is if you substitute n equal to 1 we will have 1 into 4 that is the first term. If you substitute n equal to 2 you will get 4 into 7 that is the second term. Similarly if you substitute n equal to 3 you will get the third term that is nothing but 1 by 7 into 10. Now what we have to do to prove these three steps or two steps first step we have to prove that it is true for n equal to 1. So let us go ahead and prove it that it is true for n equal to 1. So to prove for n equal to 1 I have to equate LHS and say that both are equal. So LHS is equal to 1 by 1 into 4 that is equal to 1 by 4. So we are evaluating both of them and checking whether they are equal or not. And the RHS I have n is 1 by 3 into 1 plus 1 that is 1 by 4. Now if I assume the next step we have proven that n equal to 1 LHS is equal to RHS. Now if I assume it is true for n equal to k I have to prove that it satisfies also for n equal to k plus 1 LHS equal to RHS. Now first let us assume assuming for n equal to k to be true what I will have I will have 1 by 1 into 4 plus 1 by 4 into 7 plus 1 by 7 into 10 up to k terms that is nothing but n equal to k. So I will have 3k minus 2 into 3k plus 1 is equal to k by 3k plus 1. This is what we have assumed true. Now let us, let us, we have to prove now for n equal to k plus 1 LHS is equal to RHS. Now what we have to do? We have to prove, we have to prove for n equal to k plus 1 LHS is equal to RHS. What I need to prove is, I need to prove 1 by 1 into 4 plus 1 by 4 into 7 plus 1 by 7 into 10. Then I have kth term that is 3k minus 2 into 3k plus 1 plus k plus 1th term. k plus 1th term will be wherever I have k I have to substitute k plus 1. So let us see what this becomes. This is 3 into k plus 1 minus 2 that I have to multiply with 3 into k plus 1 plus 1. That is nothing but equal to k plus 1 by 3 into k plus 1 plus 1. That means what I have to prove is if I simplify that what I have to prove is I have to prove that 1 by 1 into 4 plus 1 by 4 into 7 plus 1 by 7 into 10 up to k terms that is 1 by 3k minus 2 into 3k plus 1 plus the k plus 1th term that is 1 by 3k plus 3 minus 1 that is 3k plus 3k plus 3, 3 into k plus 1 minus 2 that is 1 by 3k plus 1 into 3 into k plus 1, 3k plus 3 plus 1 that is 3k plus 4. I have to prove all these terms add up to k plus 1 by 3k plus 4. So if I take LHS whatever is there on the left hand side I have to prove that is equal to RHS. So let us try to do that. Now what I can do is I know that this 
up to the k terms the sum is nothing but equal to k by 3k plus 1 because we have assumed that it is satisfied for n equal to k. So I can straightforward go ahead and say this is nothing but equal to if I take LHS, LHS is equal to this whole thing I can write it as k by 3k plus 1. So it becomes k by 3k plus 1 plus the k plus 1th term which is the addition to the k terms is nothing but equal to 1 by 3k plus 1 into k 3k plus 4. Now if you take LCM on this you will have 3k plus 1 into 3k plus 4 and I will have k into 3k plus 4 plus 1. That's nothing but equal to k into 3k is 3k square plus k into 4 is 4k plus 1 divided by 3k plus 1 into 3k plus 4. But I can write 3k square plus 4k plus 1 as 3k plus 1 into k plus 1. You can check on that divided by 3k plus 1 into 3k plus 4. Now 3k plus 1, 3k plus 1 cancels out. I will have k plus 1 divided by 3k plus 4 which is nothing but equal to RHS what I need to prove. If you take n equal to k plus 1, you can see that this is nothing but n by n plus 1. So we have proven that uh, it's a true LHS is equal to RHS for n equal to k plus 1. So it's a true for any value of n which is a natural number. We can say that 1 by 1 into 4 plus 1 by 4 into 7 plus 1 by 7 into 10 up to n terms is nothing but equal to n by 3n plus 1. So what we have done to summarize, we have proven that it's true for n equal to 1. We have assumed for n equal to k. We have assumed for n equal to k, then I will have k terms sum, summing up to k by 3k plus 1. Then I have to prove it's true for n equal to k plus 1. That means I will have the k terms whatever I have earlier plus I will have the k plus 1th term is equal to whatever I have on the right hand side, wherever n I have to substitute k plus 1. Now I have to prove LHS equal to RHS. So I start with LHS. For all the sum of k terms, I can replace it by with by k by 3k plus 1 because we have assumed that it satisfies for n equal to k. Then I have to add the k plus 1th term. And you simplify it, you will see that you are going to get the RHS. So see you in the next video where we will solve some more, some more problems as part of mathematical index. Thanks for visiting. Bye for now.